Saturday, June 27, 2015. Hi, this is Jim Beckwith reporting from today, Iraqi News. Friday, June 25th, we have unidentified warplanes bomb the market of Ramadi in Ambar province. Now, uh, I'm reporting from Iraqi News, so uh, take it for what you think it's worth. An informed source in Anbar province said Wednesday that unidentified planes had targeted the market of Ramadi in the center of the city. The source informed IraqiNews.com today unidentified warplanes had bombed several buildings and market shops in the Al Ateba Street and Al Cinema Street in the market of Ramadi in the center of the city, pointing out that the aerial bombing resulted in wounding a number of people and causing material damage to tens of shops and buildings in the market. The injured were transferred to a near hospital for medical treatment, the source added. And again, the 25th, Pershmerga forces kill five suicide ISIS elements in east of Mosul, says official. On Wednesday, an official of the Kurdistan Democratic Party announced that five suicide elements have been killed in clashes with Pershmerga in east of Mosul. So uh, they're saying this is Wednesday, which it could actually be three days ago. Saeed Mamouzini, an official of the Kurdistan Democratic Party, KDP in Mosul informed IraqiNews.com the Kirschmerga forces managed to repel an attack by ISIS elements against one of the sites of the Kirschmerga in the area of Al Nuran in east of Mosul, pointing out that the violent clashes between the two sides resulted in killing five suicide elements of ISIS. Next up, Iraqi security forces kill 31 ISIS militants, foil attack on Nazim Taksim. Anbar. On Thursday, Baghdad Operations Command announced that the Iraqi security forces managed to foil an ISIS attack on the area of Nazim Taksim, however you pronounce that, pointing out to the killing of 31 militants and the destruction of vital sites for the enemy in Anbar province. Baghdad Operations Command spokesman General Officer Saeed Molin stated in an interview for IraqiNews.com, the security forces had managed to repel an assault by ISIS militants on Nazim Taksim, again pointing out that the ground forces backed by warplanes of the International Coalition conducting 13 airstrikes on the enemy sites were able to foil the attack. The clashes between the two sides resulted in killing 31 terrorists again, burning two vehicles in addition to destroying mortar launchers and a number of sites for the enemy. And more violent clashes erupt between Kurdish fighters and ISIS militants near Kobani, said SOHR. On Thursday, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights reported that violent clashes between the Kurdish fighters and ISIS militants have broken out near the border of Shid, Banar, and Kobani, located on the Syrian-Turkish borders. Soar said, since yesterday evening, violent clashes are taking place between ISIS militants on a side and Kurdish fighters from the People's Protection Units on the other side in 48th Street near the border of Morshid, Shid, Banar, and other areas inside Kobani on the Syrian-Turkish borders. And a car bomb kills woman, hurts five other people in northern Baghdad. It's just so sad, all this killing. On Thursday, a source within the police force revealed that a woman was killed and five other persons were injured in a bomb explosion in northern Baghdad. The source informed Iraqi News at noon a booby-trapped vehicle that was parked on the roadside had has exploded in the area of Al Shab in northern Baghdad, noting that the bomb blast had resulted in killing a woman and wounding five other people in the area. Security forces blockaded the area of the incident, while ambulances transferred the injured to a near hospital and the dead body to Forensic Medicine Authority, the source also added. Iraqi police killed three ISIS foreign snipers in Baji. The Federal Police Headquarters announced on Wednesday evening killing three foreign women women snipers belonging to ISIS in a security operation in Baji, north of Tikrit. The Federal 
police said in a statement received by Iraqi News North the Baghdad Brigade, which belongs to the federal police, managed during a security operation to kill three ISIS women snipers holding Chinese, Afghan, and Indian nationalities in Baji. They're just coming from all over the world, aren't they? The devils from everywhere. And last but not least, we have 21 ISIS militants killed in aerial bombardment in Sinjar. An official of the Kurdistan Democratic Party in Mosul said Musini announced on Wednesday that 21 ISIS militants were killed in aerial bombardment in district of Sinjar. And I noticed that they like to repeat the same things over and over. The attack destroyed six vehicles belonging to them as well as damaging their weapons. It was located on the western side city of Sinjar. Now let's not forget to pray for our brothers and sisters and all those lost souls in these Arab countries where day after day they continue to be killed, murdered, slaughtered, beheaded, and just attacked by the enemy. Pray for these souls, all of them, lost and Coptic Christians that are living in this country right now and all these other Arab countries that they come to Jesus before it is too late. Thank you. Okay, well that's it for the short Iraqi news on Saturday the 27th. God bless you.